Flooding is the worst type of natural disaster in the world, the deadliest type along with earthquakes. But the climate crisis means that we are making flooding less natural and more disastrous. Flooding is getting worse around the world and for two simple reasons. The first one is that the temperature of the air around the world is getting warmer and warmer air can hold more water vapour. And what that means is that when it rains, more water is delivered in the same period of time, which makes it harder to drain away. So the rainfall is getting more intense. The second reason is to do with coastal flooding and it's because of sea level rise. So global heating is raising the level of the oceans because we're melting ice caps and also expanding the uh, volume of water. And that means that when cyclones and hurricanes blow in, the higher level of the sea gives it a higher starting point and so it can reach further inland uh, when it floods. So in those places uh, all around the world where flooding is a problem, we're going to see it happening more frequently and more severely. There are three types of flooding. The first is river flooding. We've seen some terrible examples of that recently in Germany, for example. And this is where there's really intense rain that falls down into the river and the river can't carry it away quickly enough to the ocean. So the river level rises, it bursts its banks and goes into the town or the city around. With flash flooding or surface water flooding, it's a similar story. Too much rain, very intense rain falls in a particular place and the land can't take it away. It often happens in cities and we're talking about sewers and drains there which get overfilled. And again, we've seen horrible examples around the world in central China, in New York and in London in recent times. The third type of flooding is coastal flooding. That often happens when cyclones or hurricanes and the fierce winds that they bring blow the water up onto the land, often breaching the sea defences. Floods are complicated events because they depend not just on the weather, but also the position on the ground, the position of infrastructure and so on. So it's quite difficult to precisely assess to the extent to which they are increasing. However, there are other ways of looking at it. And for example, with the floods in Germany this summer, scientists did a quick analysis to work out how much more likely climate change had made those floods. And what they concluded was that it was up to nine times more likely that those very severe floods had happened because of global heating. Well, in a word, they're appalling. Flooding is the worst uh, and most deadly natural disaster, along with earthquakes, and has resulted in the death of millions and millions of people in the last century. But it also has a really enormous economic impact because it destroys infrastructure, it destroys buildings, it destroys power lines, it destroys hospitals, and it takes a really long time to recover from flooding because it takes such a long time to dry everything out and rebuild it. But it can also have a really uh, traumatic effect on people from a point of view of mental health. En trois heures, l'eau est montée à tour couvert euh, jusqu'à la ligne là-bas sur le, la cuisine. Euh, et, et puis voilà, tout s'est échoué ici. Bir, birkaç tane böyle gözümün önünden doğru ceset geçti. Yani bu hayvan, özellikle bu şu karşıda köpek vardı yavrularıyla. Onun çığlıkları falan kulağımdan gitmiyor. Yani gerçekten kulağımdan gitmiyor hayvanların çığlıkları. Perdimos todo. Nuestra fuente de ingresos era esta. And probably the most important thing is being aware that you are in a flood risk area. And most national authorities have some way of doing that and often provide alerts which you can get linked into. But in terms of preventing floods, the most obvious way is building flood defences, often based on concrete, often based on tall walls. But there's a limit to those, both in terms of how much they cost, in terms of how much of uh, water we have to deal with, and also what people will put up with. If you've gone to live by the sea or by a river, you don't want to end up living behind a concrete wall. There are more natural ways of dealing with floods and this is usually about slowing the flow of the water because that gives more time for the water to drain away. So for example planting trees on hillsides which used to have them but don't anymore and I've even seen people putting logs and branches and other things in rivers and streams again to try and slow that flow down. However the big picture with flooding is that we need to get a grip on the climate crisis. That's what's making things worse, that's what's increasing the frequency and the intensity of the flooding that we're seeing 
around the world and dealing with the climate crisis first and foremost means dealing with fossil fuels and stopping their burning by 2050. If we don't do that we are going to see more flooding around the world, appalling damage and we want to avoid that pretty much at all costs.